Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon. Last time we wrapped up Beast Maker's world and we made our way over here to Macromedia Dreamweaver's world. Um, we haven't really done a lot here yet, we got a little bit of treasure. Uh, but this time we're gonna go into a level, here's Dark Passage, let's give it a visit. I imagine it'll be quite dark. Um, again, these late parts of the game I don't remember nearly as well because as, you know, a tiny kid, I wasn't good at the game, so I really knew Artisans and Peacemakers the best, because they're the easiest ones. Um, and Dreamweavers is, is hard. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what, see what we have in store, I guess. Anyway, this is the Dark Passage. Um, let's see, there's some chests here, as usual. Uh, it doesn't really look that dark. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, I see! Okay, so this guy turns into a lantern and turns the other enemies small so that they're not as threatening. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so it doesn't actually get darker. Like... So it's not like a huge deal or anything, but... So yeah, that guy's not really an enemy. But he's trying to be an enemy. He's not very good at it. Also, ow. I don't think that guy can damage you. I think he just, you know, takes his light away and makes the other enemies a bit bigger when he does so. Anyway, there's a whirlwind here. I'm going to jump into it. There's a dragon. Cassia? Can be quite frightening, Cassia? but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Okay, there's a there's like a evil Cupid over there. Hi, evil Cupid. Hi, evil Cupid. Some more of these mushrooms. The mushrooms are alive and they have butterflies in them for some reason. So yeah, the dogs turn into giant demons, which is pretty pretty scary, um, just like in real life. And yeah, as long as you light things up by flaming the corresponding fool, you won't have much trouble. That's easy. Me. You're welcome, Azizi. Okay, I'm gonna wait until that guy lights up by himself, like that, and then I'm gonna run over and... There we go. This is an interesting concept for a level. It's not exactly a dark passage, because, like... Even with the lights off, you can still see everything perfectly well, which is probably a good thing. Okay, there's a padded chest there. I wonder how we're gonna break that open. Hmm. Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. Well, that was cute. Okay, so uh, we came up from that way. I think I want to jump down there. I can see some loose gems, but I can also see another dragon platform there. So did I already go there? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's jump down there anyway, because I do want those gems. That's where the other dragon was. That we've already got. And there's just a bunch of fools there. How did I miss those gems? That's weird.
Anyway, padded chest is here. Um, we can go this way. Okay, the way you break the chest is by setting off that firework up there. So when I get up there, I'll be able to do that. Not too much trouble. Uh, I think I'm going to glide down there, maybe. Because there's some gems down here I haven't gotten yet. Always nice. This area is just well lit all the time by the looks of things, rather than having a lantern fellow that needs to be attacked. How many gems are here? 500. Okay. It's also five dragons, which is quite a lot. By this game's usual standards. Ow. So yeah, when these lanterns are here, uh, rather than being held by someone, they just stay on all the time by the looks of things. Which is simpler. Eat that butterfly, Sparks. Yeah. Uh, let's go down there. Okay, there's a bunch of little puppies here. They're all dead now. I am the hero of this game. Ah! Again, we got a little explosive here. Eat that butterfly, yeah. Okay, we're making good progress here. Stuff all seems a bit bigger than some of the others. Papara. I mean, it's got five dragons. That's a lot. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one that's going to be trapped is him. Well, thanks for your help. <laughs> Another, another um, evil Cupid up here. There we go. Gone. I'm not sure what the point of this little gap down here is. There's nothing in there. Okay, we've got a bunch of doggies over there. Easy peasy. There we go. I'm going to glide over there. A couple of these are... Uh, Metal chests, there we go. Another dragon. Hello, another dragon. It's Obasai. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome, Obasai. All dragons found. It's kind of weird that all the dragons in the game are implied to be dudes. I mean, maybe they're not, but maybe they're not actually dudes, but you know. It's a little weird. There's a broader cast of supporting characters in the later games, and some of the characters aren't good, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're done down here. Yep, let's hit the whirlwind again. Woohoo! Making good progress here. Uh, there's the this thing. Firework. That might be the rest of the treasure. It might not be. So let's head over there and have a look. It is all the treasure, so we're done here. Yay! Uh, again, there's no eggs here. I think there aren't any eggs in the game at this point, which is kind of sad because it's kind of a fun part. But you know, whatever. Um... <laughs> yeah, you can exit levels while you're falling to your death, which is pretty handy. 
Returning to Dreamweaver's treasure found. Yeah. Returning to Dreamweaver's Dreamweaver's world. Okay, so I guess we'll go look for another level. Because uh, that's one level. And it's been about 10 minutes, so we can fit another level in. Returning to Dreamweaver's is taking longer than I would like. There should be some music on this load screen because it's very long. There we go. Okay, I think we want to go over to this, probably this whirlwind sort of thing here. It doesn't quite work like a normal whirlwind, it's a bit different. Let's head in here. Uh, got some more treasure over here. Tasty, tasty gems. Looking for another level. He's a dragon, though. Holy dragon. It's Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. Thanks. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world. You must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. All right. Okay, there's a level. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. I'll just grab some of this loot around it. Anything behind it? Nope. All right, let's go to Lofty Castle. Oh, hang on. Something over here. Don't want to miss that. There we go. How much treasure is there here? 300. Eh, we're making good progress. Let's go. Castle time. Entering lofty castle. The castle is lofty. It, that means it's big and tall and has high ceilings and stuff like that, I think. If I recall correctly, I could be wrong. This screen could use some music, because it is very long. Okay, what do we got here? Um, we got like weird bird things. All over the place. Um, there's some water. Hmm. Okay, we got like an armored guy. He's got a balloon. You can destroy the balloon. He's gone now. I don't know if that counts as getting the gem. We got a gem from the balloon, but that might not be the same gem from the guy. I don't know. The minion. Uh. Okie doke. Uh, well, there's something interesting happening over here. There's a fairy. Do not feed. Do I need to feed the fairy? How do I feed a fairy? What do fairies eat? Oh, hang on, I can break their chests with fire? It looks like they're made of metal. Alright. I guess if I free them, they'll... Okay, so they'll start carrying me if I get enough of them. I assume. It should be handy, because there's a lot of bottomless pits around. Uh, let's climb up here. Doesn't look like a car... Oh, there's the castle. It's over there. We're just outside. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, so there's now three fairies, right? Okay, so they're creating a whirlwind over here. I see. I see. I see. I don't know how I'm supposed to feed them. I don't think I can, but I can free them. It's Mudata. Oh, that's cute. Are always on your side, Spyro. No. Thanks, Mudata. That was really cute. Give more dragons plushies.
Okay, this is actually part of the lofty castle now, I think. Okay, we've got a whirlwind there. We've got a fairy up there. Can I jump and... Yes. I think I can kill that guy unless I can get above him. Because, yeah, they're, they're armoured. you got to pop the balloons. Although they're not above a cliff, so I don't know if popping the balloons will actually help that much. Hmm. Okay, I'm now above them, so... Okay, let's go back and do that again so I get the one I didn't get before. There we go, that should be all of them. I okay, can this other whirlwind is created by the fairies and that'll take me somewhere different. Ah, it takes me to a dragon. Hello dragon. It's Yuzni. Yuseni? Ah, Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here. Oh, okay, so there'll be supercharge too. ramps here. See where it takes you. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Uh that's key. It's also some some gems and stuff. So let's glide over here. Yeah. Aha! Supercharge ramp. I'm kind of scared. Uh, I think I'm supposed to keep supercharging, so I get launched off this ramp as well. Oops. Alright, well, let's try that again. Um... Dang it! <laughs> Supercharge is hard. Kinda wish the fact that I'd gotten all those fairies meant they'd lift me up like they did back in High Caves. So that I wouldn't die every time I go near an edge and mess up a supercharged mega jump thing. Because the game keeps doing those. In this late era of a video game. Not really sure what I was supposed to do there. I think I jumped to the wrong spot or something. Hmm. Reigniting. It's interesting that it pops up the key like that in the middle of reigniting. It's like, yeah, I have a key, what of it? Oh, I was aiming for there. Heck. Almost. I, did, I didn't quite jump at the edge. So I couldn't quite keep track of where the edge was because it's really fast. <sighs> wow. Hopefully this level doesn't prove too long. Dark Passage wasn't long, but this one might be. Ah. Uh. Yeah, supercharge ramps are really, really fiddly to use. They're pretty fun when you're just using them to go real fast and smash through stuff, but when you have to use them to do big jumps, it becomes... fiddly. Oh, come on! That was perfect. Ah. Okay, okay. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, um, I think that's just for this treasure. Doesn't let me get to anywhere else by the looks of things. So, I guess I'll... Maybe head over here. Oh. oh my god. Well, I released a fairy. It's, it's gotta be worth something. I 
assume the third fairy that I need is around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Also, there's the locked chest which I need, so let's go over there and open it. How much treasure is there here? 400. Okay, so we're making good progress. more gems over here, so let's head this way. Uh, I think I can probably jump high enough to get that guy. Yep, there we go. Here's another dragon! Barutai. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome, Barutai. Just free another fairy, there you go. Um, can I jump that? It's a little scary. Yes. This whirlwind takes me to that ledge up there. Yeah, it does. Cool. And I can glide down over there. Get both of these. There we go. And then these fairies will make another glidey, whirlwindy thing over here. I do wish that they would, you know, save you from falling like the fairies do in some other parts of the game when there's three yellow ones like there are here. Hmm. Okay, let's put some gems and stuff to grab. None of these guys. Goodbye. I feel like I'm gonna glide over here. I don't know if that did anything. Mm. Doesn't look like it. Nothing over here. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> sad Danny is sad. <laughs> you can probably tell from the life I'm not that sad. I'm okay. <laughs> Reigniting! Okay. Um, I don't think I've taken this whirlwind yet. Where does it go? It's over here. I've already got all the loot over there, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. Anyway, we do want to fly over here uh, to this area with little demons or evil cupids or whatever. Extra life. I need that because I just died. Okay, so rather than going that way, I guess we'll glide over here towards all the birds. Also, that guy that just suddenly appeared. Also, that guy. Should have made their balloons out of metal, fools. Okay, so we've got one of the three in this area. I'm assuming if we take this whirlwind here, we can go find some of the others. I was correcting my assumption. Okay, those guys are loading in really slowly. It's weird. <laughs> okay, all three of those. Okay, uh, I'll just take this whirlwind the three fairies are in. There we go. That'll get me up to here. I don't know how close I am to having all the loot. I think I'm pretty close. Uh, not close enough. I'm gonna go that way, apparently. Oh, I can see some loot in that castle there. Okay, um, I'm gonna get over there. Oh, 
I think I need to get back up there and then glide across. I don't really remember how to get back up there either. I did not do the supercharge thing again because that sounds obnoxious. Hmm. Let's have a look around. There's another way to do it that I'm just not seeing yet. Okay, hang on. Hang on, this the stairs. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank god. Okay. Um, Hope it's not more complete. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's let's go return home now, I guess. Um Can I make that glide? Maybe. I'll try it and if I don't make it I'll just Yeah. Exit level. <laughs> cool. Alright, so that's Lofty Castle and Dark Passage done. Excellent. Uh, that's about it for this video, I suppose. Uh, next time, we'll do some more of the levels in this in this one. I don't know if I've ever done the boss in Dreamweavers. I don't know who it is. So, um, we'll see, I suppose, as we continue our little trek through Macromedia Dreamweavers. Which we will do shortly. There we go, arriving. Okay. I can see the balloonist over there, so we'll have to reach that eventually. Um, but that's it for the moment. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll find out what other levels are here, because I don't really remember Dream this Dreamweaver's homeworld very much. It's... it's... it's very different. Um, just gonna flip through here so you've got an idea of our progress. Pretty good, except for the flight levels. Basically. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time we do some more of this homeworld and make up 